can do this, you know. So it's thanks to Tony McClellan and um, his assistant Emma getting me started in that. Now he only deals with private schools and I went to a state school myself so I figured it was equally if not more important for state school kids, kids to hear my message. So I started contacting the state schools myself and about 95% um, of what I do now is the state schools. And it's really, ta it's really taken off. The schools generally put me back on the spot. I get all these emails from the kids all week long saying, we don't listen to our teachers when it comes to drugs. We go in the hall ready to fall asleep. But your story, it had us on the edge of our seat. Our hearts were beating, you know, hearing about what was going to happen to you next. And it's made us see what choosing drugs can lead to. So don't go in there and say, I'm here to tell you not to take drugs. I just go and I say, I'm here to tell you my story. And I just tell it. And at the end, I give them a summary as to how it, it was choosing to drugs that led to all these horrible conditions. And I give them all of the other, you know, um, consequences of taking drugs. But they're really receptive to it at the end after I've told them about the jail conditions because they're so gripped by the jail conditions. So it's been extremely successful. Um, Ministry of Defence flew me out to Germany just the other month to do my first foreign talk at a military school and they've approved it for all the overseas military schools. I did about, I must have done over a hundred talks um, for schools in this academic year. It's 70 the previous year and about three the year before that. Yeah, so I've got no time to write these days. <laughs> 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 you still have a Yes, I do. Um, they come and go. Sometimes they come night after night. When I first got out, it was I was still in prison in these nightmares, and people were trying to kill me in prison. And what happened? What happened was over time, it became a blend of prison and the real world. So someone who was trying to kill me in prison now will be chasing me down the street that I live, trying to kill me and stuff like that. And for a while. Like I said, the cockroach thing was probably mentally, at that time, was the hardest for me. I had to get, I couldn't sleep and I, I got put on uh, medication. And I was seeing imaginary cockroaches and hearing voices and stuff. And I was seeing imaginary cockroaches for quite a while. Um, I don't have any more symptoms like that, but I still do have the nightmares. Yeah. How do you balance your writing with the nightmares? Because um, the more learning and creative stimuli you have, the more likely you are to remember your dreams. So how do you balance that? Is it a case of, well, we take the nightmare so long as you can do what you need to do? It's like, I have no choice in whether I take nightmares or not, they just come. Um, and, you know, I'm reliving my story in a sense every time I tell it. So I'm reprogramming my brain with those details over and over and over. Now I think that it was my destiny to have to go through this to share this story. So the nightmares, it's it's a cost of, of it in that sense. Um, but I don't mind it, you know. I learned the hard way that making money is not what life's about. I had money, I had problems, and it, you know it created a lot of trouble in my life. I'm a natural money maker, and I'm you know if. if the book becomes an international bestseller or as a movie, I would make money again. I barely make anything off it as it is. It's about 30 something pence a copy. Um, so it's like happiness is your thoughts and it's, it's helping people and all these emails I get from the students. That's going to, you know, that influence I'm having on them is going to continue after I'm gone and perhaps it's going to inspire them to help other people as well. You know, I practice yoga and I believe in karma. It's like I'm trying to restore my karma now with the world and trying to make my parents you know, proud of me as well after the, after the hell I put them through. So my life is going in this really positive direction right now and everything's expanding in the right way. So, you know, if I have nightmares, I have nightmares. I'm not, it's going to happen, but I think over time, you know, they'll probably lessen.